Hi everyone, Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Thanks for joining me today. A big shout out to Corey. He got in touch with me. He asked me to explain less than and greater than. As you can see here, please make sure you go to our website. Make sure that you download and print today's tutorial worksheet so that we can do this towards the end. Stick around, we're gonna have some good times. Hi everybody, let's start with less than. Now if you're one of those people out there who likes to think of greater than and less than as crocodiles, I ask you to stop thinking like that. We're not gonna mention that today. My greatest concern with students that are learning that method, and I see it every time I teach years five and six here in Australia with my classes, is that kids that only learn that, they stop reading the actual question, they stop thinking mathematically how those numbers are different, they stop actually looking for relationships and looking for understanding. Instead, they've got this crutch and it is stopping them from advancing in their mental and their, their knowledge of mathematics. So please, if you've been using that system, Stop now. I want to teach you a simpler method. We are going to be memorizing the less than symbol and the greater than symbol and then reading, at, reading it properly on the page from left to right as it's meant to be read. And we're going to remember the less than is a squashed L. So think about it. I don't know that a great big elephant comes along. Well, I haven't got an elephant. Instead, I have a giant Hello Kitty. And she has come along and she has sat on the L in less than, and she squashed it. And that is how we're gonna remember less than today. Here we have our scales. If you saw my previous video, video number 14, this is a great move from that one. If you haven't seen 14, go and have a look. It explains the equal sign. We do not understand less than and greater than unless we understand the fundamentals of what equals means. So here we have less than on some scales. Now of course these scales are in relation to balance. This side of the scales is lighter. The weight is less. This side of the scales, the right side, the weight is more. There's more mass and so it's heavier. So we would read that as this side of the scales, the left, is less mass than the right. Let's keep that here, and we're going to be using that analogy today as we compare two numbers. So let's start. I have two numbers, 10 and 80. Now, it's really important that when we look at these questions, we read it from left to right. That's why, please don't do the whole crocodile thing because what kids are doing, they're not actually reading the question. They're just saying, the crocodile is hungry, it goes this way. Instead, we need to read the question. 10 is less than 80. Let's do another one. Second question. 1 is less than 4 and 3 tenths. Here we have 2 plus 5 is less than 42. You see how it's critical that as we grow in complexity and understanding in maths, we can't just rely on the crocodile analogy. We need to be able to understand that 2 ones plus 5 ones is less than 4 tens and 2 ones. 7 is less than 42. Now if we bring that down now to our understanding of mass, 42 is a greater number than 7. 7 is less than. 
Seven is lighter than 42. Five and seven hundredths is less than eight tens. Five and seven hundredths is less than 80. And of course, we bring it down here, five and seven hundredths is definitely less, it's lighter if it were mass, say if it were grams or kilograms, than 80. And the last two, seven is less than three threes, which is nine. And three tenths is less than eight and nine tenths. So please remember everybody, less than is our squashed L. Let's now have a look at greater than. Now greater than is the opposite symbol of less than, as we have here. And we read it, we always read it left to right. This side is greater than this side. And here we have our scales, but in this case, the left is heavier, there's more mass, is greater than the right side. So let's look at an example. 80. 80 is greater than 1. And of course, if we transfer that down to our understanding of mass, 80 is bigger, is heavier, if we're doing grams or kilograms, than 1. Next examples. 8 tens, 80, is greater than 8 and 1, which is 9. 80 is greater than 9. 2 plus 5, 7, is greater than 6 tenths. You'll notice, everybody, we always read across left to right. Let's try a couple more. The last two examples we're looking at today, 8 and 9 tenths is greater than 4 and 3 tenths. And 75 is greater than 4. Now please get out a pencil. What I'd like you to do is stick with me as we actually work through that worksheet together now. So you can see there on your sheet we have a reminder. This number is less than this number. And of course this number is greater than this number. So what I'd like you to do, press pause on this video, quickly go now, do this before we actually go through it together. How did you go? Let's do it and we'll mark it together. Five, it's definitely less than nine. So squashed L. And we read it, five is less than nine. Five times five, that's 25. I'm gonna write just 25 over here to the side. 25, 24. 25 is greater than 24. There's my greater than symbol. 19, take away 3. 19, take away 3 is 16. Oh, 16 is less than 70. Squashed L. 16 is less than 70. 3 and 5 tenths. 35. 3 and 5 tenths is less than 35. 16, 61. 16 is less than 61. Squashed L. 3 times 9, 27. 27 is less than 32. Squashed L. How'd you go in the first column? Let's now go to the second column. 9, 11. 9 is less than 11. 64, 19. 64 is greater than 19. 33, it's less than 41. Squashed L. 4 tenths, 5 and 4 tenths. 4 tenths is less than 5 and 4 tenths. Squashed L. Two more to go. 23 and 4 tenths. It's greater than 2 and 3 tenths. Last one. 24. 28. 24 is less than 28. 
I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial today, really trying to make it interesting, trying to make it easy, understanding less than and greater than. Please, please, please subscribe to this channel, leave a comment if you have a suggestion, if you'd like to know something uh, about maths, if you'd like me to explain something, please feel free, go to our website, send us a note, and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much.